This is the Opti 1500 series durable UPS. I love this thing, but because of the load I put through it, I'm changing batteries way more often than I like. However, can this be the solution I've been looking for? What makes this UPS special is that this is a double conversion online UPS. What that means is it's taking AC power into it, converting it into DC, that DC power charges the batteries, and that DC power is converted back into AC to power your devices. What this allows for is zero switch time when there's a power failure. And of course, this is all in pure sine wave. The computer attached to this UPS is using it 24 seven. So there's a lot of current going through this thing all the time. Because of that, I'm having to change out batteries way more often than I would like. Hopefully today, when we put these in, I won't have to do that no more. Now we're gonna open up this UPS and take the old batteries out and put the new ones in. Let's get started. We're gonna give it the Ninja Chop. Okay, did I miss something here? Oh, are there screws on the bottom? Ugh. Yep, there are screws on the bottom. No wonder the cover didn't come off. <clears throat> All right, now we're gonna give this the ninja chop. <sighs> okay, fine, it's not gonna work. Oh, there's one more screw. Okay. Now, the ninja chop. Ah! Okay, I guess the... That's how I did it last time. I guess the Ninja Chop's just not gonna work with us today. So push it off, and pull, and pull. <clears throat> the Ninja Chop. There we go. So let's take a look here on how the batteries come out. So it looks like it's in this compartment right here. I think I just realized something. I don't think you have to take that cover off. So on these type of UPSs, there's actually this piece of paper right here. You really, really do not want to touch anything behind that piece of paper because there, there's these capacitors and stuff in there that hold a ton of energy. Remember, this is a double conversion. There's a whole bunch of electronics in here. That's why it's so huge. All right, so let's go ahead and take the batteries out. Okay. Let me might mute my phone real quick. All right, so we just took the last screw out and I believe this just kind of pushes down. Or no, this kind of comes out like... Remember, yeah, that's right. There's like plugs right here. This whole module just slides out. Oh, wow. Okay, so looks like to take the batteries out of this thing. Um, it's a cover that is kind of like this. So one side is one, sorry, one side is one way, one side is another way. And it just kind of comes off like that. At least that's what it looks like. So we'll see. Okay, it just comes off like that, cool. Now we just took the cover off and we took the casing off. We're gonna take the batteries out and go ahead and replace them with these lithiums. Now, these lithium batteries are from Dakota Lithium and they're a little special. Take them out of here. As you can see, these claim to be uh, sealed lead acid batteries that have 12 volt at nine amp hours. This is a 12 volt at 10 amp hours, so it technically has more capacity. But here's the thing, lithium likes to be charged uh, a little bit higher than SLA, uh, sealed lead acid batteries. So that means this is not gonna have as much capacity when it's fully charged at a SLA voltage. So just keep that in mind when you're upgrading to lithium because remember, the charger is not changing. It's still gonna be a SLA charger. Okay, let's see here. 
How does this come out? That comes off. Here's one. Wow, what a weight difference, huh? Am I doing this all the wrong way? <laughs> yeah, this is way easier. Just lay them down. Oh, fudge. Maybe I shouldn't have taken them all out at once. I don't have a diagram or a reference. We just took the batteries out of the case and now we're gonna give them some comparisons. Remember I said these are much lighter? Well, let's find out exactly how much lighter. All right, let's see how much one of these weighs. And that is five pounds and 6.9 ounces. And a lithium battery weighs exactly two pounds, 12.2 ounces. Wow, that's almost half of its weight. So two lithium batteries weigh almost the same amount as a single sealed lead acid battery. That is pretty crazy. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and put the lithium batteries into this unit, into the battery uh, cartridge right here. And then we're gonna go ahead and install it into the UPS. Okay, I'm assuming this goes like this. Oh, fudge. Now we're gonna put the batteries into the battery casing and put it into the UPS. After some research, uh, I discovered that maybe I shouldn't have just ripped these out so quickly because the instructions on how to install these are non-existent. But based on how these wires are, I think we can figure it out. See, I know what I'm doing. Oh, fudge. Oh, fudge. So now we are ready to go ahead and install it into this UPS. I had a slate there this whole time. You know, it should be pretty easy here. Um, you can cut that out, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. All right, good. It's fully inserted. Okay. As soon as I push this in, these terminals will make contact with the terminals on the battery cartridge, and then there's no going back. So if you guys don't see any more videos from me, it was nice knowing you. Hold on. Why is there like? All right, confirmed, we have connection. Okay, now before we put the main cover on, we're gonna go ahead and give this a test. How about, how about an RGB lamp? And yeah, we got some light, it's working. It's the power cable coming out of the UPS. We got power, pure sine wave, so it's working. Okay, let's put this thing back together, shall we? Hmm. So I'm a little worried these cables right here. I'm just gonna be careful not to touch any of that. Yep, we're good. If this works out, I'm gonna do my other UPS. This is only, this is a 1500 watt unit. The other one is a 1000 watt unit. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that if this all works out as I mean, the batteries last more than two years. I'm good. Well, there you have it. We just replaced the batteries in this UPS with some nice batteries from Dakota Lithium, and we almost saved a whole seven pounds. Hopefully these batteries last a lot longer between UPS battery changes. Ending final take, or should be, should be. Should be. Leave a comment down below if you found this interesting. <laughs> Get subscribed. Should I say gets it, or if you like what you saw here, if it's something you would consider do. We got a lot of great, no. Leave a comment down below if this is something you found interesting, or if you, or get subscribed, hit that bell icon because we got more content coming on the way. Leave a comment down below if this is something you found interesting, or if it's something you would consider doing. Also, get subscribed and hit that bell icon for future videos, especially more about this UPS coming out. With that guys, We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Don't mention the UPS video. <laughs>
They don't give a f about that. And there's probably not any more coming. Yeah, <laughs> maybe in six years. Remember that video we made back when we were at only... Oh, fudge.